When we talk about going to the chiropractor, I think most of us think about getting help for a pain in the back or a pain in the neck yeah. or spine. Right? That's true. But would you believe going to a chiropractor for help with integrating the right and the left side of your brain to deal with things like dyslexia and ADD? Wow, that's exactly what's happening in a growing field called neurological chiropractic. So kick and catch. There you go. Perfect. It may not look like it, but Billy Ingerbreath is working on his reading skills. Good job. Remember, that's to help stimulate that right midline cerebellum. Good. Perfect. A little bit. You're going to take a breath in and out. So it releases that upper back nicely. Billy's a patient of Dr. Robert Adams, a neurological chiropractor in Sonoma, California, whose work frequently focuses on improving brain function in both adults and young people. One of the most common things is just the with learning challenges, the ability for them just to focus. Billy's eyes had a hard time tracking with reading, and he had a real hard time sitting still in class. Couldn't sleep very well. His okay. pediatrician wanted us to try the ADD medications, and um, I didn't want to try them. So I would talk to his teachers about it, and that's how we ended up coming to see Dr. Adams. And he's not ever taken the medication. I'm going to take my thumb. I'm going to do a coupled movement. I'm going to create tilt and rotation right under here on this left side. Nice and short and easy. Okay, very simple movement. Good. Over Dr. Here. Adams uses okay. standard chiropractic techniques in helping patients like Billy. Right here, okay. Eye exercises are also a part of the treatment plan. Watch it all the way. Good. You're holding much better. Up that left eye. There it goes. Okay, tell me when it reappears. Because we adjusted your neck, we stimulated movement receptors from the right side into the left thalamus, okay, and up into the cortex, okay, and that, that's how we balance. So we didn't touch your eyes, but by improving your brain integration, your eyes are functioning better. Physical exercises are equally important, and the results are closely monitored. And, but what we noticed is when you bent to the left and right, that you had quite a bit of failure of coupled movement in here. That's why those exercises are so important that you're doing the cross crawls neck extension, good, good postural patterning exercises. And he also has some high-tech tools like a digital imaging device that gives patients a look inside their own bodies. So this is what the value is and it helps the patient see. So we, as we talked, a subluxation is a verb that's not moving like it should, it's not in the proper position. Dr. Adams sometimes uses a device that generates rapid fire impulses to help with adjustments. This is another way of adjusting the atlas, okay? I'm just going to hold that. Okay, good. One more little bit there. Good. So instead of one big movement on the drop table, we use this impulse adjuster. Okay? Let's see how this motion is now. Turn your head this way a little bit. Good. And this way. Good. Okay? Now, Billy's sessions with Dr. That. Adams okay. have yielded steady progress, this not only in slowly. school, but also with his energy level and I sleep patterns. Like He's done really good. His grades are up. His reading is really a lot quicker. On all of the subjects, he does a lot better. He can sit still now and focus. Yeah, I sleep like a lot longer and a lot better. See how this left one does here now. Oh, good. Dr. Adams says Billy's progress is not unique. He has many young patients who've been referred to him by teachers throughout Sonoma, interested in dealing with learning challenges without using pharmaceuticals. These nervous systems, these kids are phenomenal. The systems are just waiting for some help, just a little nudge. They're trying to get stimulated. I mean, the paradox is here you have a child with hyperactivity disorder, and the typical medical treatment is to do what? Give them speed, amphetamines. Yeah. Pro, you know, they, they give them the medications that uh, Ritalin is speed. It's an amphetamine. So here you think, wait a minute, you got a kid that's hyperactive and you're going to give them speed and it slows them down? Well, it slows them down because when you take those amphetamines, it causes an increased activation of certain brain pathways that actually are inhibitory. You see? That's why they calm them down. But a better way, instead of taking a medication which f affects both sides of the brain, which speeds everything or affects everything, you want to target the area of the brain that's deficient to bring it up to higher frequency of firing so it will inhibit itself. Dr. Adams says the ability to precisely adjust areas of the nervous system without drugs is a major advantage of chiropractic neurology. We can specifically target the deficient area and bring it into balance and then we don't have the negative consequences. You know, you have this marvelous brain 
and it is, it's, it's through your brain that you perceive, you experience everything, you, you drive your body, and, and uh, your brain needs input. And it, it has two functions. It receives information and it transmits information. And if you have an alteration of joint motion in your spine, so you don't have efficient movement of your spine, your brain is not going to get the full activation that it could get. And you'll be, you'll be functioning below your normal potential. And so chiropractic is the best vehicle for getting joints back in motion. So let me relax your head here. So I'm going to isolate this joint right down here. Dr. Adams says chiropractic can also help maintain a strong immune system. Good. Uh, Dr. Perot at the uh, Sloan Kettering Institute in um, New York did some research and they found that patients had had, that were under regular chiropractic care, the regular man, they had been under care for at least five years, getting at least one adjustment a month. He tested their blood and found that they had 200% uh, better immunocompetence than the normals and 400% better than sick people. I'm gonna put you in the rest area for a few minutes, let that atlas settle down. He recommends a chiropractic treatment at least once a year. And to find practitioners board certified in clinical neurology, he recommends consulting the American Chiropractic Neurology Board, acnb.org. As you may have surmised from that story, one big attraction of neurological chiropractic is the ability to deal with serious learning challenges without pharmaceutical drugs. Yes, it's obviously a powerful natural alternative and is getting a lot of attention.